So a lot of people aren't aware of one of the most powerful free citizenship options out there. You start off with an immediate permanent residency, and in certain cases, you can actually get the permanent residency for free. And this then leads to citizenship in anywhere from six months to two years. This is one of the fastest citizenship options out there. So when you talk about the South or the Latin Americas, there's a lot of talk about Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, and a bunch of other residency options. But this one, rarely anyone focuses on, and I'm talking about the country of Dominican Republic. It has a very flexible and unique, powerful residency that you can obtain for free in certain cases if you qualify. And uh, it has the fastest time to citizenship. It ranges anywhere from six months to two years. And this is the fastest that you can really get and for free. So I'm going to cover three topics. One is how do you get this residency? Two, why this is one of the most powerful residencies out there. And three, how it leads to citizenship so quickly. And then there's a bonus topic in the end. So definitely watch uh, this video through till the end so you don't miss out on the last section of this video. So let's get into the topic. So the three ways in which you can qualify for this permanent residency almost immediately, the big thing is it, it starts off, it could start off with permanent residency directly. A lot of the other options are great, but they start off with temporary residency. You spend at least a couple of years and then you switch over to the permanent residency. But here you have an option of directly jumping into the permanent residency and you skip the entire temporary residency period. So the three options are uh, one by property purchase. So if you buy your own property and this is no government approved real estate, it's your own selected property. You can buy it anywhere in Dominican Republic. The only criteria is that it should be minimum of 200K USD. So as long as you make this property purchase anywhere in Dominican Republic, uh, you qualify for the permanent residency run. So this option, you would typically register the property under a business under your name. So you're the owner of the business, the property sits on the business's name, and that way you can qualify as a business owner. So that's the first option. The second two options are free options, which is if you are retired and if you have a pension of uh, 1,500 US dollars each month, and this should be uh, obviously coming from, let's say, the SSA or equivalent of your country of origin, then you qualify under the pensioner option. Third way is if you are earning $2,500 per month or five-year period, then also you qualify as an international investor. Now, this income has to be a passive income. It should be the sources should be something like uh, rental income or uh, fixed deposits or savings interests, et cetera. So it should be something from uh, passive investments. It cannot come from your active job or your business, et cetera. It has to be a passive investment. So these are the three options. The last two options are free of cost. A lot of people won't qualify under these two. And a simple way is to buy a property worth 200K and get your permanent residency that way. Second point is that this residency is quite powerful and flexible. There's no minimum time that's defined in the law. So for whatever reason, if you aren't able to make any residency, then there is no specific requirement of a minimum residency. You can still keep your PR alive as long as you're renewing the PR uh, when it's due for renewal, it usually expires in four years. As long as you're renewing it, it should be fine. There is no penalty or there is no violation or you don't lose the PR. Third advantage is it leads to citizenship. Uh, I mean, you obviously would need to qualify and apply, but you can apply for citizenship as early as six months if you're married to a national during the course of your time or in normal circumstances, it will lead to citizenship in two years. Once you are on the permanent residency for that two-year time frame, then you can go ahead and apply for citizenship. Now, obviously, it doesn't work like a paper residency in terms of citizenship. You would need to have some ties to the country. So if you have a property, you automatically have your home in the country. And in terms of your residency, it's flexible, but they would want you to be there for some time. You just can't disappear for two uh, years and then suddenly show up for your citizenship. Uh, that might raise questions. So you want to make sure you stay there for some time. And uh, obviously, uh, you should have ties to the country. So that uh, that way you, you, you can make your citizenship application strong and safe. The third big advantage with Dominican Republic is that it's very strategically located in the center. It has direct flights from the US, from Canada, and a bunch of other South or Latin American uh, countries. It's very easy to fly back and forth. The other thing is the flight prices are quite cheap, which is a big advantage in my opinion. You might be close to a certain location, but the flight prices are three or four times more, then that becomes an inconvenience if you're going back and forth 
both frequently. But here, you can actually travel back and forth between the US and Dominican Republic in two hours, and the flights are usually less than $100, uh, depending upon where you're catching them from. So I think that makes it a very unique, uh, strategically well-placed location to be in. I want to talk about a little bit about the country. What is the best place, in my opinion, to buy a property in order to get this permanent residency? And this is not immigration, legal, or uh, investment advice. This is my personal opinion. And I want to cover four areas which I feel are extremely safe and good investment options in future. I do see a lot of potential for making money. And while all of this happens, you're getting one of the most exotic locations to enjoy your time, to enjoy your permanent residency, whether you're living there or you're renting it out, you have all options open and it's a fabulous second home to keep. So let's look at the areas. So if you look at Dominican Republic, this is what I was saying. So it's very strategically located. It's right in the center. So you have a direct access to the US. You have direct access to uh, Canada, you have all your South American nations, and also you have access to Mexico as well. So if you have one base in Mexico, one base in, in Dominican Republic, or let's say Brazil, then you're very centrally placed and you can go back and forth between your countries. So my favorite area in Dominican Republic for, for investment is Punta Cana is always active, it's always buzzing, and there's great life going on in Punta Cana. From a future perspective, I expect the prices to retain or go up. It's a beautiful, beautiful coastline. It has some of the most amazing beaches you can find in all of Americas. And if you're looking for properties worth 100K and you want to buy two properties to qualify for that permanent residency, then I would consider Punta Cana Village. And Putakana Village is this area right here. So if you look at the, if you, this is the airport, you land here. And if you get into this area, which is, it's not exactly a downtown, but it has a great vibe and it has a very laid back uh, environment and it's quite fun. So if you get a chance, definitely explore Putakana Village. I'll be covering Putakana Village in more details in future videos. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. So you get access to one once that comes out. So Putagana Village is a great cheap location. It's a great option where you can actually find a condos for 100K and up. You can find something more expensive, but if you're looking for a cheap entry point, which is close to the airport, so you're very easy for you to you know, dump your bags and head to the beach, then Putagana Village is a very good option. So the second option that I personally like is uh, Putagana Downtown, which is this area and it has more of a nightlife if you will as compared to Punta Cana village so if you want some more entertainment then this is slightly more expensive uh, in price but then you're getting more entertainment more value out of this you're looking at properties worth 150k and above so again you can buy a 200k worth property in Punta Cana downtown you can have a downtown feel obviously the beach is not far away so you can always head there and live in the downtown area. So this is my second choice. My third choice is Cape Cana, which is actually the coastal area and it's down south from the airport. And you have wonderful, wonderful beaches out here. The only difference is the laid back area. So you can, you can find some great condo apartments near the beach, near the coastline, laid back, and it's much more fun. So you can actually find good properties in this area. In my future videos, I'm going to cover uh, what are the apartment complexes uh, where you can look at apartments and we'll go into each area in more depth. So Cape Cana is my third choice. You can get a property on the coastline and it's a very laid back uh, vibe and it's, it's, a, it's a great option. And my absolute favorite is Bavaro Beach, which is this area. Uh, this is the most expensive of all. So if you are looking, if you are able to find a place in this area, places over here will typically start off from the 200K mark. You can find a beautiful property very close to the beach and you can be in this area. The difference between Cape Cana and Bavaro Beach, the other one is more laid back, but this is more of a, the vibe is slightly less laid back and more of a happening uh, type of location. Happening meaning the nightlife and the restaurants and the, the pace and all of that would be more, would be faster as compared to your Cape Con. In my future videos, what I'm going to cover is these red dots, which are some of the condos in uh, the area. Uh, there's some absolutely fabulous options out here. Have your apartments on the coast, and then you can have that sea view 
and you can be a stone's throw away from the beach. You can actually just step down on the beach and you really cannot get any better than this. And what else? You keep your permanent residency while you're enjoying all of that. And then eventually you can get your citizenship. You can keep your property as your second home or you can exit your investment as well. So if you want to get started with any of these residency options, click the link in the description book to call with us. We work with the best lawyers and the best agents that have active properties and properties keep selling every day. So we do keep up with the inventory and what's available. We can recommend the best options and get you started with your residency application. And again, we work with the best legal team and as well as we work with the top agents in the area to identify the best deal. So if you're interested, it, click the link, book a call, and we can discuss your specific circumstances and get you started with your residency. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification so you get notified. And if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, you take care and goodbye.